vanity of vanities. Everything is vanity. Good morning, family and friends. Today's first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. We heard that Kohalath telling us vanity of vanities. Everything is vanity. Apparently, we may think it is very pessimistic reading. Yeah, more than 25 times Kohalath uses this word of vanity. In order to understand this reading, we have to understand the history. Kohalath saw what happened in the history. Darius, the king of Persia, such a mighty and powerful and immensely rich king, was defeated by such a young king, Alexander. Later, we know what happened to Alexander. When he was just 33 years old, he died in Babylon. And his dead body was carried through the same road through which he walked triumphantly earlier. So Alexander ordered his army, his uh, soldiers, not to cover his hands as they carry his coffin. He wants the people to see his hands were empty. We know Alexander was rich emperor. He conquered from Greece to India, you know, almost all over the world he conquered. Still, when he left this earth, he did not carry anything with him. His rich, richness did not save his life. That's what Kohalath telling his people, everything is vanity. Today's gospel, we see a king, Herod, such a perplexed, worried, and f afraid he is. You know why? Because he has a guilty conscience. He killed John the Baptist. When he heard about Jesus, he thought that John the Baptist has come by. You know, he is risen and he has come by. So he's afraid. He wants to see Jesus because of his perplexed conscience. And today's gospel invite all of us to clear our own conscience by you know, confessing our own sins and accepting God's mercy. Amen.